This video is sponsored by Wix.com. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Wix tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a website for e-commerce. So let's say that you're ready for drop shipping and that you have set everything up. You have your product found that you want to sell. You found the perfect niche, but the only way that you have to get sales and everything like that outside of social media promotion, for example, that's just a whole different thing. You need a proper website, of course, for people to go to, to find traffic to, and to also make sure to sell your products on a very very, very efficient way. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching. So with that all the way, guys, let's go ahead and start preparing our website for our e-commerce web shop right after the intro. Alright guys, so now that we are on Wix.com, right now it says the leader in website creation and then we're going to click on this blue start now button. Alright, so as usual, we're going to sign in real quick. So then we land on our dashboard. So we're going to start creating our e-commerce website completely from scratch. So right here on the top left says my sites and then we're going to hit create new site. Alright, so then they ask you what kind of website are you creating? So we're going to type in e-commerce and then right here it says e-commerce store and we're going to hit next. Okay, then we see choose how you want to create your website let wix adi create a website for you answer a few simple questions and automatically get a website designed just for you in minutes create a website with the editor start with the template and make it your own with easy drag and drop and thousands of designed features so we're going to use the editor for this video so we're going to click on edit a template all right so then we land on the pages where we can actually choose our design so let's scroll down a little bit and we have also like about 49 pages of choices so let's browse a little bit through i think this one looks actually very nice with a really big photo of the watch so let's go and click on this one and we're going to click on edit so then it's going to load the website editor and then we're going to proceed from there now we have landed on the editor right here we have our menu and this is of course the home page that we're going to edit first so right here we have of course the page where we can select our pages such as home shop about the frequently asked questions and the contact so we're going to of course start off with the home and we're going to work our way down right here okay so right here if you click on add that will ask you to add a new pages and all that we're going to skip that for now because we're going to actually edit the home page first let's say that we're going to use this website for our e-commerce you know drop shipping website we're going to sell watches so right here you can even choose if you want to make up your own brand name let's say that you found a really catchy name let's say blank and then watches so let's go make up a name right now let's say that we're going to use elite watches exclusive swiss made watches it actually depends on if you want to keep this or not because you have to make sure that the watches that you're selling are actually swiss made you cannot put that there and then sell watches that aren't swiss made of course so you want to double check on your you know supplier or on the store that you get your watches from to make sure that they're swiss made but if they're not you can just for example type in every time piece is timeless for example and then you can also change up the font you can need to change up the font size as well so then right here you can completely customize everything you can manage the menu so right here you have home shop about frequently asked questions and contact you can change up the order if you want to but i think this is actually a very very accurate order so then you click on layout and let's say they want to have it for example like this reversed or left to right or right to left you can change up that how you want that as well you can choose if you want to have them centered i'm just going to click on this one the first one to align my text that looks really really nice so then right here it says timeless quality i'm a paragraph click here to add your own text so right here of course you want to make sure to fill in your own kind of you know custom twist about how you describe your watches what kind of movement is inside the watches what kind of steel are your watches made of is it like 904l stainless steel is it 316f stainless steel how waterproof is your watch let's say that your watch is 30 atm that stands for example you know uh, splash resistant and then i'm just saying I'm not, I'm not sure about the exact same details you got to actually do a quick Google, but let's say that your watch is, you know, suitable for 50 meters, you know, something like that, or a diver's watch. You can fill in the number and then, you know, put ATM behind it so people actually know how waterproof it is. And then, of course, you have all your banner photos. Maybe if you have like some watches of yourself that you are selling, laying around, what you can do is you can just, you know, let's say that you want to put them on a green screen or on a white background or a white table. You can make photos yourself and then you can just go and upload these. Here we have all kinds of watches. I wouldn't 
actually use the same titles as you do on, let's say that you're getting your watches from AliExpress that are, for example, you know, $29 and you're selling them for $79 or $59 or $39 or whatever. You want to make sure that you don't copy the exact same title because 9 out of 10 people might actually end up using that same title and land on AliExpress and find it for cheaper. So you would just want to give it, for example, your own name. You can just click on settings and then you can change up the text. So this one is called Gents. So then you can go to the product page and then right here we have Black Jet. Right here, this one is called Gents. So let's say that you want to change that up. So right now we're going to click on there and then it's going to open up the editor itself. So let's say that we're going to call this one Elegancy. And now you can also choose out the price. Let's say that this watch is $29. You can even sell this one, let's say for $59. And you can also just put this one on sale if you want to, to make sure that people will maybe choose or decide faster. So if your original price is $59, I wouldn't actually, you know, put down $89 and then give people like $30 discount. I don't really think that's even legal. So you're just gonna make sure that you will actually give a discount and that you're willing to give people a discount on top of the original price that you have. Then you type in your description, like, you know, what kind of leather is it? Is it real leather? Is it fake leather? And all these kinds of things, such as the waterproofness and the diameter size of the casing and all these things that you can fill in right here. And then you can just click on save. And then right here, of course, as you notice, it changed to elegancy. And then you can do that for all the watches. If you're selling just two watches, you have a less work with coming up with names. But of course, if you're selling 10 or 15 different styles of watches, then you have to actually do a little bit of work and also research like how waterproofs each watch. You know, what kind of material are they made of? Is it steel? Is it aluminum? Is it plastic? All of these things that you have to fill in, of course, on the details. So this is, for example, the homepage that we have just finished. So let's move on to the shop page. So right here we have all the watches. This one is on sale, which was 79, which is now only 59.25. So of course you can click on there and you can also change the products and also click on settings. If you want to change the layout right here, you can also display your watches on a different kind of way you can also just not include the prices if you want to make people click first on the page to see the price that's also possible so i think this one looks actually a little bit better than just this one the standard one and let's go and place this one actually more to the center of the page just like this make sure that it is nice and aligned you can also see these help lines in the middle so now that you've finished your layout of your watches you can just click on here and then you can click on manage products and then you can just go ahead and change up the actual photos of the watches if you click on there right now it is loading the editor we're going to start off with the uh, black jet watch so we're going to click on there and then it's going to just take us straight to the editor so right here we have the black jet we can change up the image all right guys so we have now a second photo of the watch and of course you can take multiple ones and from the back of the watch and a close-up from the strap and all that so right here we have also the name we have a price tag everything like that is included right here to change that up it's really really nice so once everything is customized you want to hit on save right now so now we can also change up the page background so we're going to click on here and and then we can see which kind of background would actually fit the best. Let's go ahead and click on here. I don't really think this one suits the absolute best. I think like more of a black and white website or would actually look very, very cool. Now, the thing is, these watches have a white background. So if you click on settings right here, you can also choose the watches background, such as the solid color. Do you want to have them transparent? So right here, it says the background color opacity. If you bring that all the way up, you can bring down the opacity and the background color. As you notice right here, if you want to have this white list under your watches it's really really cool you also have filters if you want to have them you can just enable them so they actually will be sorted by collection by the price or by the you know the season all that it's really cool that it's all customizable so right here we have the button text so we're going to change that to add to shopping basket then right here it says out of stock i think that's pretty pretty accurate and then right here it says load more i think i would say load more watches just like that so once that's done you can really start optimizing your you know photos and the text as well to your background so that you make sure that it actually fits so you can also place the paragraph 2 to let's say this bright color to make sure that it will actually be an eye catcher when something is on sale or out of stock how you want to customize it to really catch the shopper's eye all right guys and what's this very handy that all your products that you will be adding to your shopping page will also be automatically added to your home page so let me show you how it works so let's hoover over so we can manage our products and let's go ahead and add in another product so i'm going to upload another one Watch. Okay, so right here we are on the list. These are all the watches that are shown on the product page and on the home page as well. So let's go ahead and hit on new product at the top. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and add in this gold, this two-tone watch that actually looks like a Rolex Submariner. So let's say we're going to call this one 
the diver. We're gonna make this one a little bit more expensive. Let's say that we're gonna give this one 129. And then you can also fill in your description like usual. And then right here on, on the back, it is says in stock. So you can just write down, for example, this is the perfect diver's watch that is water resistant to 50 meters of diving just like that of course you can also include like what kind of material it is from is it gold is it gold plated is it what kind of steel is it so right here we're going to click on save right now so now if you're going to go back right now we can see that it is added to our shopping page right here of course you have to optimize your photos everything will be added in automatically so right here we only have four watches showing so we're going to click on this settings button and then you can actually see that you can add in a lot more of these watches and you can also just adjust the page height as well so people if people scroll down you can make more and more watches appear which so you can really customize it right here it is really simple if you want to just go and drag and drop your photos from your watches so let's go ahead and also add in the second watch that we just added all right guys so this is the product page looking very very nicely everything is also customizable right here if let's also talk about how to set up the shipping page where you can also see how much something is going to cost whenever it's going to ship to a different country all right guys so in order to get to the shipping page to configure everything we're going to click on settings right here and then we're going to go down to the manage button and we're going to click manage store and then on the very left we have another button that says settings right here and then right here we're going to click on the shipping button so we can choose to which countries that we will ship how much it will cost and all that so right here it says the domestic service it is free shipping let's say from belgium so to international orders you can also click on edit shipping rule okay so right here we have let's say that we're going to use three options we're going to pick the free shipping we're going to pick the standard shipping and we're going to pick also the express shipping so right here you can customize it flat rate do you want to have one custom price for every single shipping you know like you know label or cost to any kind of country to the entire world do you want to also rate it by the weight if people order multiple watches it's going to weigh more a lot than just one single watch from a different order the rate by the price is a certain watch going to be a free shipping because the watch is already quite expensive all these things you can think about so right here let's go and pick the flat rate so we're going to type in standard shipping let's say that the standard shipping time with track and trace is going to be seven euros to any country in europe the delivery time is let's say that we're going to pick three to five business days because let's say people think it's three days and then they order on let's say thursday and then they expect their packaging on sunday but then of course there's a weekend in between so i would just pick three to five business days you can also pick if you want to use the local delivery or for hand delivery to areas within this region or you can also do a local pickup as well i can understand that if you don't want to ship to a certain country because of whatever reasons you can just exclude that so right here we have all the countries from the world that we can choose from all the different continents so it's very very nice that you can customize everything and just make sure to if you're going to ship worldwide you can just do everything at once for every single country and if there is something else that you don't want to include to a certain country you can just set that up separately all right guys so let's move on to the tax settings so of course you're going to pay taxes on certain things such as the profit you make off of the watches you can just deduct also the money you spend on the shipping from your tax bill all that so right here we have the countries and rates let's say we're going to add in a country which is belgium in this case so right here we have 21 percent tax on shipping we're going to check on that so people will actually cover the tax amount as well on the price we're going to hit save right here and then it says is tax included in the prices of your items and shipping you want to click on yes tax is already included an automated sales tax is optional if you want to upgrade it says get real-time tax rate calculations for every region customize tax groups for different item categories and also access to the resource sensor and the tax compliance reports because of course every country has a different tax rate so you want to make sure to also optimize these settings very very accurately and then you have per product your own menu so if you click on here let's say that we're going to edit this one you can also just insert different colors if you have that one and right here let's say that we're going to call this one the classic because of course it has like a way older look and then right here we can 
can also put it on the price range. Let's say that we're gonna make this one a little bit more expensive. Let's say that we're gonna make this one $99. And that we want to currently, let's say that you have a lot of them or that you want to have like watches that are season based. This season of this watch is almost over. You need to get rid of your stock. You can just put them in sale right here. It says discount, how much percent do you want to give or how much dollars or euros you want to give. So let's say if you want to give them 25% off, it will actually make it to 74.25. But if you want to give them a fixed amount off, you can just click on here on the euro sign. Let's say that you want to give them 20 euros off then it becomes to 79. And then you can also show them the price per unit. Of course, as always, fill in your description, how waterproof it is, etc. I don't have to go ahead and do that all over again. Right here, it says track inventory. If people say like, oh, this watch looks really nice, it is on sale. But if there are like 500 left in stock, people wouldn't actually order that fast because they see, oh, there are 500 pieces left. I have quite some time. I'll come back to it later and they might forget about it. So I wouldn't actually go and track the inventory. But of course, right here, it says in stock. And also when the watches are sold out, you can just put in out of stock because not that you would forget something about this. People are ordering, like, let's say that you got 10 orders for this watch and then you have to refund all the people because this was out of stock, but you actually forgot to update that. So now that you have done that, you can change up the photos you can also create a coupon code if you want to you know make a instagram ad you can say like use this coupon code for 10 percent off etc etc that's really really handy and if you're done you can click on save and if you get this prompt this yellow box you haven't connected the payment method customers will not be able to buy from your store we'll get to that in just a second so we're going to click on save right here all right guys so and now that we have done that let's go and add in our payment method real quick right here you can actually choose how you do want to get paid do you want to get paid by credit or debit debit cards and online bank transfers with Wix. You can click on connect to add in your, you know, your credit card details, or you can even connect your PayPal if you want to get paid through PayPal or even manual payments, connect to accept cash, check or other custom forms of payment. So it really depends on what you like. Do you want to have it customly completely on your bank accounts, you know, immediately? Do you want to have it through PayPal? You can just choose one of these options to make sure that you have your preferred payment method. Now that we have customized our watches, the prices, the names, the photos, the website layout, or the, the shop page layout, you can move on to the next page. But of course, before we do that, I would actually preview the website and the page on mobile phones. So I'm gonna click on this switch to mobile icon. So this is what it looks like on mobile, guys. The watches are actually stretched out a lot. So you make sure that you have really, really high quality photos. Otherwise, things might look a little bit more pixelated. But then if you scroll down, this is what it looks like. It says this add to card button. It looks really, really nice. This is what it looks like on mobile phones compared to a desktop because anytime you would publish a page you would actually have to check on this one because if you spend hours and hours on the page and everything looks perfect on desktop and you publish it it might look different on you know a mobile version so I'll just always check per page on the mobile version what it looks like before you actually hit publish right here all right, so now that we have done that, let's go back to the page manager, frequently asked questions. So this is, of course, how do you place an order? So once you click on add to cart and you have checked out, we immediately will, you know, start looking into the payment. You will actually get an email confirmation, all of that. And of course, payment and the shipping, you can just type in that what kind of payments do you accept? And you know that it's credit card, bank transfer, PayPal. You can also include like that people will get a tracking code through email that they can follow their parcel. And right here it says secure ordering and payment options returns and refunds like if you want to return your watch if you're not satisfied with it refund it but of course everything needs to be complete like all the paperwork of the watches like certificates of authenticity if you have these everything needs to be included it's kind of like a t-shirt like once you cut off the label nine out of ten you will have a really hard time shipping that one back and also just make sure that you will also include a invoice in the package just as a proof that you purchase it on your website and then right here at the very bottom we have our social links we can click on here so let's say that you have a Facebook page for elite watches you can just click on set social links and then right here you can upload custom icons if you want to and then right here it says add in your title and then below that right here it says facebook.com and then right here it says wix i'm just going to type in just alex alpha because i don't really know if facebook.com slash elite watches you know exists it's just completely optional i just made that up on the spot and then right here it says how does it open in a new window or a current window i wouldn't actually make it in a current window because if people are you know scrolling through watches and they have a few watches in their carts or whatever or on the pages if you open up an in a current window it might actually remove all the progress they made on your website when they're coming to shopping so i would just open this one up in a brand new window
and down. So that's how you connect Facebook. It works exactly the same for Twitter and Instagram. And that is basically how you edit the frequently asked questions page. Also just make sure to click on switch to mobile to see what it looks like. All right, so let's move on to the contact page. So this is of course mainly when people have questions about your products. So if you have a headquarters, you can actually fill in your address. If you don't have a physical address or if you don't want to have people visit you in a way, or if you don't want to, you know, confuse people that you have a physical store where you can also can buy watches, you can just go ahead and remove this section like just like this one. But then right here we have our name, we have our box. I would actually place it like this and also just make it a little bit bigger. And then you can just fill in your name, your email, the subject. Let's say that you have a question about your order, like order inquiry, or that you want to return something. You can just go ahead and type in your message like, hi, I actually tried on the watch. It is too big for my wrist. I want to send it back and all that. That's how you can contact through this. And then at the bottom, you can also have your own copyright you know notice or your statement as well all right guys so that's it for this video this is how to set up your website for your e-commerce business using wix the link is down in the description i want to thank wix for sponsoring this video and i'll see you guys obviously in the next video